Hey, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, if you just found us, please subscribe. You can all come in. We're getting some subscribers. It's very exciting. I know it doesn't mean a lot to you, but it would mean a lot to me and the channel. We're having a speaker giveaway. We're giving away a pair of Clips R51Ms. I'm going to link that video in the description. If you watch that video, it will tell you how to do it, and you got a chance to win a set of speakers. Pretty nice set of speakers. You can also support us by clicking and using the links. It doesn't cost you anything, but we do get a small commission on the sale of each uh, product that you buy through the, through the links. You can also try Amazon uh, Music Unlimited. Um, I would recommend the HD, so if you click on the link, go down the page and there'll be an option for the HD and I think it's three months for free and I'll be honest that's what I use that's what I've used all the time if you uh, sign up for a free trial I get like a dollar so it's like a three month three month trial you got nothing to lose so what are we talking about today uh, we're talking about the Fozzy audio it's a little two channel uh, integrated amplifier um, and it's uh, two times a hundred watts I say that somewhat smirking because I don't think it's 100 watts, and if it is, it's probably at like 35,000% distortion, but that's fine. It's all the power that I need. It has 100, 100, has 1,478 uh, ratings on Amazon, four and a half stars. Um, and I check, I always check the ratings and look at what percentage of one star reviews they are. And if it's like greater than 10% or 12%, I generally steer, steer clear. Uh, but this one star rating was 7%. So that's pretty good. Um, and it's $80 right now with a 5% coupon. So 10% of 80 is 8. 5% would be 4. $76. $76 if you use the coupon. All right. So let's talk about some specs. It comes with a uh, 24 volt power supply. And I tested it. And it is indeed a 24 watt power supply. Um, it will drive two to eight ohm speakers. I haven't seen a lot of two ohm speakers, but I do know that some four ohm speakers will dip down into two ohms. Anyway, it'll drive basically any speaker, unless it's a 16 ohm speaker. Um, and it will probably start your house on fire. I don't know. I, I can't talk about that confidently enough. Uh, signal to noise ratio is greater than or equal to 98 dB. That's pretty good. Um, I always look for around the 100 range and total harmonic distortion is less than or equal to 0 0.04 however it doesn't say whether that's at one watt 50 watts or 100 watts or one channel driven two channels driven so you gotta keep these specs um you kind of gotta take them with kind of a grain of salt it's got one set of rcas and has a bluetooth connection which uh, works with aptex if you have any questions about aptex hd you can watch my video on the topping BC3 Bluetooth receiver. I talk all about Bluetooth codecs. And then you can learn about it, and then you can talk to people and just watch, make their eyes glaze over. When you talk about Aptex, Aptex LL, Aptex HD, LDAC, AAC, SBC, all that good stuff. So what do I like about it? It's very powerful. It's got uh, actual metal knobs. It's got volume, bass, and treble. The tone controls work surprisingly well. Um, it's got a nice little metal case and a decent little toggle switch. Um, it's very uncomplicated. It's got um, a pair of RCAs in and then the Bluetooth. Um, the Bluetooth works um, kind of okay. Um, I'll tell you that for however they implemented it, whatever device you connect to it, it grabs a hold of it and does not want to let go and won't allow your device to really connect to anything else. And then it doesn't really like to connect to other devices. But after I had it unplugged for a while, I fired it up today and Bluetooth popped right up. Anyway, I contacted the company and they sent me out a uh, replacement board, a whole board. And that's fine for me. And I don't have a problem like unscrewing and, and putting new boards together and things like that. But uh, I would say for the most of the population, that might not be a, um, I don't know, it might not be a <laughs> fix for them. Um, but it's fine. What I'm saying is the, the company's willing to work with you. And they replied to me and sent me on a board like ASAP. 
So they stand behind their product, which is good. It's a good little product. Uh, the power is good. I'm not going to say it's rated at 100 watts. Quite frankly, I don't. If I ever need more than about 20 watts, I'm doing something wrong. Um, and you can watch another video. It's not my video. It's a British audio file. He talks about how much power do you actually need. Um, most of the time, it's less than five watts, and it's shocking, but it's true. Uh, so it powered the Elax very well. And quite frankly, this is all I had for quite a while. Um, and I was quite happy with it powering the Elax. It was on my uh, desk and I used it. I had a little DAC going into it and it was great. Um, also interesting side note, I went to their actual website and I bought the non Bluetooth version of this, um, which obviously doesn't have Bluetooth, but they had a bit of a design flaw in that to where you actually had to before plugging the uh the transformer into the wall you actually had to plug this in and then plug the transformer into the wall because if you didn't if you plug the transformer into the wall and then went like that uh a spark about the size of a p would arc between it and i forgot to do that and it was very entertaining i just find it funny i think it's I think that's awesome though, because they are not, it's not awesome that this could be a potential fire hazard. What is awesome is like, they recognized it and they said, hey, and you have to love their way of fixing the problem. Don't do it that way. And I like that. Don't do it that way. This one doesn't spark though. So that's probably a good thing. I wouldn't compare, I didn't, I did not comp A, B compare this. The only other amps I have um, is a, a Marantz NR1711 receiver. Um, I have a Emotiva TA100 and an Anthem integrated 225. I didn't A, B these and I, I don't want to A, B them because this was just fine. It made me bop my head gave me a lot of energy listening to it i don't i don't want to see how bad this could potentially be compared to a 400 dollars component when this is a 75 dollars component um so i didn't really ab it because i don't want to because it works just fine for what it is and what it is is something you can put on a desk uh you could hook up a dac um uh, to it and set the volume so what you do if you hook up a dac to it with a remote you turn up the volume on the DAC to about 75%. Don't go higher than that because you can induce distortion and it does happen. I, I put a clipping meter on it one time. Um, and then turn this up as loud as you can possibly stand it and then leave that there. <laughs> and then you control uh, volume with the DAC. So in that scenario, you, let's say TV, into the DAC, DAC into this. Maybe the DAC has Bluetooth. Great. Uh, I will say the Bluetooth, uh, the Bluetooth chip on this is fine. The DAC chip associated with that Bluetooth is not fine. It does Bluetooth does not sound good. However, if you get a topping BC3 LDAC Bluetooth receiver, it sounds fantastic. So bear in mind that this has Bluetooth. It won't sound that great. So anyway, you could use that, and then you could run uh, speaker leads and uh, speaker line levels into a sub, and then line speaker lines out from the sub and have a, uh, a really cool 2.1 uh, channel soundbar killer with remote and awesome Bluetooth, if you got a uh, DAC with Bluetooth. Um, otherwise, you just gotta hook up whatever can go into your RCAs. Um, so, I think it's great. Um, I put a little blue tack on it and then I can like stick it to things and it doesn't move around because it is very small. Um, it's small enough that heavier cables will just pull it right off your desk. But if you're looking for something for a desktop or looking, I don't know, I, I use actually this, I throw it into a backpack with some speakers and I run around the house and put up a little system. It takes about 30 seconds once you have everything, all the wires cut. I, I don't, don't cut the power cord, cut speaker cables. Uh, but yeah, it's great. Um, how can 1,478 people be wrong, right? No, I like it. It's it's nice. The tone controls work really well. They're not uh, obnoxious um, when you add or take away. Um, it's really good. And it's what I use as my kind of uh, budget reference little two-channel amp. 
so with that, um, I hope you subscribe. I hope you like this video. Um, and if you can, uh, check out some of my other videos. Sign up for that speaker giveaway. Who knows? You'll walk away with a pair of Clips R51M. So with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.